All right, there it is. Spreaker, you guys are back with us live. And I am here. Pastor Phil here live. Late nights, Saturday night. Let's get it readjusted, my brothers and sisters. Make sure you got that Bible, that fresh cup of coffee, and, of course, your notebook, tablet, your highlighters for your highlighters. And anything else you forget, let's just get to it, friends. Got a lot to cover. I'm excited to be here again. Uh, <laughs> we got we got YouTube, we got Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker Anchor, CastBox, and, and a whole lot more, friends. Hey, Amen. Let me go ahead and grab these notes here. Uh, we're going to open up with John 14 and 15 again, like I uh, we talked about on the last broadcast uh, over at our Ustream TV channel. So, kind of wanted to just get back on here, give you guys a, a nightcap, I guess, church service here. Uh, so, let's go ahead and just jump right into it, my friends. Good to see you, Pastor Crow here live again. Worldwide Live Mission Podcast, YouTube, and more. Amen. Make some adjustments here. Uh, it was a little warm. I didn't expect it to be so hot, but, uh, well, warm anyway. It's in uh, like 75 or something out here. So uh, I was I was going to put on a jacket, and I was like, it's too hot. <laughs> we can't, even, even in August here, friends, we are already uh, August 21st again here, about uh, midnight here. Uh, just a little after 1130, but uh, man, it, it is still uh, pretty warm uh, here, even in the studio with the fans going, it is still pretty warm, and uh, I thought, well, no, I better not put on a jacket, uh, <laughs> so I'm like, that's why you don't see me in too many jackets over the last few months, because it's just too hot, uh, no way I can do it, uh, you know, do a full broadcast, so uh we're going to get into it, friends. Got a lot to cover. I uh, wanted to get back on here. I missed the last few nights. Back on the second YouTube video, or, you know, the second YouTube broadcast, uh, just doing the one in the uh, early afternoon or late nights. Uh, so I didn't, you know, I didn't want to miss this one. I wanted to get back on here. Uh, instead of just deleting it like I always tell you, hey, I don't want to delete it out. Uh, and then just not come back to it or not do it. So I have a lot of scriptures, uh, church, I wanted to share with you uh, as uh, as we get into this one. So second round here, second uh, podcast uh, here on YouTube. And uh, I do appreciate you guys. Like and subscribe, hit them buttons, uh, and then notifications if you can. I always appreciate that uh, massive support. That is a blessing, and you guys are awesome. Uh, and that's the motivation that I keep going, talking about here, friends, to, uh, uh, keep doing that broadcast. Amen. Amen. All right. So the, uh, podcast available, I, I just finished up, like I said, on the, you, uh, the, uh, our, the restream network, uh, and, uh, uh, where else we were at, uh, Twitter and all that stuff, so you guys can catch those that first podcast right now. It is available. Uh, amen. So uh, let me kind of adjust the monitor here. Amen. And amen. All right. Hopefully we will <laughs> we'll keep the volume there. Boy, oh boy, I don't want to lose that. Um, all right. So okay, there we go. And Pulling up the monitor here. I wanted to double check something. Uh, all right. Let's get to it. Gracious Heavenly Father, oh, I come before you again so grateful and so humbled. As I always am and as I always do. These broadcasts, these podcasts, and these messages. Uh, Father God, as I have church here again tonight. I thank you for this calling. I thank you for the blessings. I thank you for the encouragement. It, it is awesome to be uh, in your service. So, as I pray for family, friends, everybody connected, everybody watching and hearing this service here again tonight, I lift them up and encourage their hearts, Father God, and all this discouragement, all this stuff that's going on. Oh, Father God, it is in dark times indeed, and so we lean on you, we trust in you, and we hold on to you. And as we as I always tell you, uh, tell everyone, uh, lead into the cross, trust the cross, and and run to the cross. So uh, as I just, you know, keep preaching and keep doing your work, I uh, just uh, in awe and just thank you continually 
uh, for everything that you've already provided. It's, it is a blessing and an honor. Uh, Father God, I want to pray again, as I always do, over the Wi-Fi, over the connections, over the uh, power and everything here, uh, uh, to keep going as I ask for your protection over everything. And, um, you know, uh, as you always do, you always provide, and it's awesome. So, uh, and, and pray over my words and, uh, you know, the discernment that you have given me to share and read your word, Father God, as I have been doing. So uh, pray over that and, and just watch over it as you always do. Thank you. In Jesus' precious name, I pray right now. Amen. All right, my friends, how are you doing this late night uh, here, almost midnight? We're going to be rolling into midnight. Uh, friends, let's go ahead and just jump right into our Bible, run into our words here. Uh, hey, man, as I, you know, like I said, it was uh, pretty hot, and I, I was like, well, it's casual Saturday. Why not? Let's go ahead and just uh, get a, a, a nice shirt on and, and just keep going into the Word, so... Now, tomorrow I may wear a tie for Sunday service here. I haven't been doing that lately, and I, I really, really want to go ahead and do that. Uh, amen, friends. So let's go ahead and just read our Bibles. Let's, uh, uh, let's go ahead and fix <laughs> fix that. I, I was looking at my clock. I was like, ah, oh, I didn't fix it. I didn't adjust it. It's still sitting in the same spot. Uh, and I was like, oh, man, because I, I said last podcast I was going to actually get that done. And I didn't do it. It's still sitting there. I, in a bad, I can't even see it because the, the headphones, which I've got right uh, out of the way there. Maybe I might be able to see it a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> amen. So, yeah, anyway, I can see a little bit better, but my headphones are right in the way. So, uh, kind of readjusting things, right? All right, friends. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys for your time here uh, in church. So, Let's get to it. Let's get going. Uh, just that pulpit. Boy, I've got a, all kinds of cords and cables down there that I really am going to have to uh, make an effort to uh, fix and readjust because it's it's cluttered. A little bit cluttered back there. i gotta get got to get on it. All right, my friends, open your Bibles and let's get right into it. As the Lord says... Let your heart not be troubled. We're in John 14 and 15 for our opening scriptures here, my friends. Uh, as he says again, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And if, I, if it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, brothers and sisters. He says, and if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. Amen. What a great scripture, right? Uh, <laughs> there it is. And and uh, that where I am, there ye may be also. And whither I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Now, now we get into some you know, conversation back and forth. What a, what an, a, an amazing opportunity, uh, you know, to be a, a fly on the wall in that conversation here. Now, in verse 5, Thomas saith unto him, church, Lord, we know not whither thou goest, and how can we know the way? Right? And he says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way. Uh, amen. Amen. The truth and the life, and no man cometh unto the Father but by me. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Now Philip saith unto him, Lord, shew us the Father, and, uh, and it sufficeth us. Now Jesus saith unto him, I have, uh, or have I been so long time with you, and yet thou, or hast thou not uh, known me, Philip? He that uh, hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how sayest thou, shew us the Father? Now, believest that thou not, or that not that I am uh, in the Father, and the Father in me, and the words that I speak unto you, I speak uh, not 
of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me. He doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me, or else believe me for thy very works' sake. Verily, verily, I say unto you, Believe in me. The works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do. Because I go unto my Father, as he says, and whatsoever ye think in my name, that will I do, and the Father may be gathered in the Son. Amen. Now, if ye shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. If ye love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he shall give you another comforter. Amen. That he may uh, abide with you forever, even a spirit of truth. Uh, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him. For he dwelleth with you and shall be uh, shall be with you or in you. There it is. Uh, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you, he says. And he tells us this, friends, in his word. He will come to us. Uh, all right, uh, or I will come to you. There it is. Now, yet a little while, and the world seeth me no more, but ye see me, because I, here it is, friends, because uh, I live, ye shall also live, and that day it shall know that I am in my Father. And ye in me, and I in you, and he that have my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that uh, loveth me. And that he loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself unto him, or to him there. Now, Judith, <laughs> Judith, right? Judas, uh, saith unto him, not Iscariot, church. Lord, how is it that, uh, <laughs> that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us, and not unto the world? Amen. Now, uh, watch this, friends. Now, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words, and my Father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. Amen, friends. Good to see you this morning. I know. I <laughs> you checking your watch here. Like, do you know what time? I'm like, hey, this is my regular time. I just haven't been doing the second services uh, here, I've been busy and just trying to get caught up on things, and uh, I get a little, you know, a little weary, uh, you know. And I'm like, nope, I got to put my foot down, squash the devil, and get some preaching in a late night here for our late night family friends that are, uh, you know, browsing through YouTube and all the other channels. Uh, <laughs> you know, so good to see you guys. I do appreciate you being here tonight. Uh, or this morning, because we're at midnight, we're at the midnight hour, preaching the word of God, friends. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Saturday, August 21st, going into the 22nd, uh, service is going to be, for Sunday service, going to be about 3.30, uh, between, oh, one of those that sneezes, uh, <laughs> uh, somewhere after 3 o'clock, I don't know. Uh, it hasn't got here yet, so we'll see what happens. All right, so again, he says, not Iscariot. Lord, how is it that thou wilt manifest thyself unto us and not unto the world? Now, here's Jesus' reply, friends. Now, Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep uh, my commandments, or keep my words, right? And my father will love him, and he will come unto me, or him, and uh, again, make our abode in him. Now he that loveth me keepeth, or loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings. Uh, and the word which ye hear is not mine, and the Father's which sent me. Now these things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, uh, whom the Father will send in my name, he says, he shall teach you in all things, uh, and uh, bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have heard 
I have said, or whatsoever I have said, I unto you. There it is. All right, you guys. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let uh, not your heart be troubled. And neither let it be afraid, friends. Right there. Right? That's the good stuff. (laughs) Amen. Uh, Again, let's go back over 27. Uh, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. And let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. You've heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again uh, unto you. Now, if you love me, you would rejoice, because I said I go unto uh, my father, or the father, for my father is greater than I. Uh, a man now and now I have told you before it come to pass that uh, when it come to pass you might believe uh, hereafter I will not talk much uh, with you for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me when we're talking about the devil there uh, the devil coming in to kill steal and destroy right uh, amen now I love the father and as the father gave me commandment even so I do uh, arise and let us go hence. Friends, there you go. John 14. We're going to go right into 15 here for this morning's study. Uh, I'll probably go ahead and jump into our uh, our scriptures too, or our, our the uh, scripture notes again. As I always like to do, let's grab that fresh squeezed cup of coffee, my friends. Amen. All right. I hope you guys are doing well. Double shot here. Uh, double. Uh, <laughs> wanted to get right back on here for the second uh, additional Bible study podcast right back here on YouTube and uh, Blockhawk Radio, Spreaker, Anchor, CastBox. Uh, yeah, been, uh, like I said, haven't had a chance to get back on the second one tonight. Can I do those two and a half hour or two hour uh, Bible studies during the afternoon, early evening over at Restream, uh, and that is multitasking or multi-recording. Uh, I think we got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> what is about a half a dozen channels or something? I try to keep track, and boy, sometimes it's difficult. Uh, so I I like the the you know the the, the uh, what is it um, the lesser channels I guess there's about six channels I'm on right now, and uh, at one time and so and it's pretty cool you know like I said I'm glad to do it I'm glad to be in service and I'm I'm glad to give you guys some a little bit of church service here a little bit of time in the Lord a little bit of time in the Word, uh, friends you know I'm always uh, grateful for my calling and and appreciate the opportunity I just get to to spend it hang out with you guys right here on YouTube and, of course, the other channels. Uh, thank you guys so much for all the support. Uh, like and subscribe here, if you will. Hit that PayPal button uh, if you'd like to become a monthly sponsor uh, to help out with the ministry, friends. That would uh, be a great blessing. I thank you guys already for that. Don't forget our Discord. Don't forget our Patreon. And, of course, back on... Uh, what was it? TikTok and Rizzle Verbal uh, Tin Can Vimeo uh, SoundCloud so much. Don't forget the uh, Discord channel. Don't forget the Instagram channel. Uh, so much awesome uh, uh, platforms uh, to preach this good news gossip. <laughs> Watch, I was watching this thing. This same thing, and he goes, "I I just put it. I just woke up to a bunch of gossip." I shut it off and changed channels and happened to be uh, going through YouTube and I found your channel. So I just got a message from somebody, from a, a new brother. Uh, <laughs> he said he was, he, I just popped up. And I was like, oh, gossip. No, we're not talking about gossip, but I just got a message that came through. And uh, he, like I said, friends, he, he just posted it. He's like, hey, I was going through some, you know, channels, and I saw this gossip, and I kind of went through YouTube, and I found your podcast, so uh, <laughs> I was like, oh, okay, nice, thank you. I appreciate all the new friends, family, 
Uh, you guys on all the channels, boy, that's awesome. And that's what I'm here for. You know, God has provided so much for me, and he just threw this at me and said, hey, this is what you're going to do. Uh, you're going to preach my word. You're going to share my message. You're going to share the gospel in boldness, right, uh, to, <laughs> to preach the good news gospel of all ends of the earth, friends, right? Uh, anyway, that kind of caught me off guard here. It just came right in off, I think, off my cast box uh, messaging uh, system there. Uh, I was pretty surprised. I was like, oh, <laughs> so there you go. Uh, pretty pretty awesome. So anyway, let's go back to our channel, or let's go back to our Bible study here, friends. We are in John chapter 15, right, for our... Well, it was Saturday, but now we're in Sunday morning. So good to see you. Good to be on here, friends. I appreciate you guys jumping online here. Uh, again, grab your Bibles and your fresh brewed cup of coffee, my brothers and sisters. We are having church this morning. Uh, amen, amen, amen. Now, he says in ver uh, chapter 15 in the book of John, I am the true vine, and my father is the husband man. Every branch in me that beareth not my fruit, uh, he taketh away. And every branch of that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring uh, forth more fruit. Uh, now, as we read this together here, friends, uh, watch this. Now, you're clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Uh, abide in me, and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, and ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him. All right. Uh, the same bringeth forth much fruit. Right. Uh, let's see. Ye without or be without me, ye can do nothing. Right? Or but with me or without me, ye can do nothing. There it is. Now, if a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered. And men gather them the ca and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Now, if ye abide, here, friends, if ye abide in me and my words and abide in you, ye shall uh, ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen. Now, herein is my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, so shall ye be my disciples. Amen, right? Now, as the Father hath loveth or loved me, so have I loved you. Uh, continue ye in my word. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love. Even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. Now, these things I have spoken uh, unto you, that my joy might, be, uh, might remain in you and that your joy might be filled or full, right? Now, this is my commandment, that ye love one another as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends if ye do whatsoever I command. Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant, watch this, friends, the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, but I have called you friends. For all things that I have heard of my Father, I have made known unto you. Now watch this in verse 16. This is what always gets me. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, that you uh, that your uh, fruit should remain, that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you, or give it, uh, give it you. Now these things I command you, that ye love one another. Uh, again, 
Watch this, friends. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. Uh, but because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you and uh, out of the world, and therefore the world hateth you. Right there in a the word, my friends, it is there. Be ye separate, brothers and sisters. Uh, verse 20, now remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If ye have persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Uh, but all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. Now, if I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not or had not had sin. There it is. <laughs> all right. Um, now, but now they have no cloak for their sin, and he that hateth me hateth uh, hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man, as he says, did they not had sin, or had not sin, right? Let's see. They had not had sin. What? It's right there. All right. Uh, <laughs> but now have they both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law, or the Torah, right? The Torah law. But they hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, uh, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, uh, right now, which proceedeth from the Father, or uh, or he shall testify of me, and ye, uh, ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. All right? Come on, church. All right. Get that clipboard back. Uh, a couple of chapters in John to study. Uh, amen. John 14 and John 15. John the brother, John the man, John the revelator. We're hearing all about it, right? Amen, amen, amen. All right. So let's uh, grab a couple of... Let's see, we're going to go that way. We're going to go all the way back here again, friends. So... Settle down, sit back, relax, wake up, get the sleep off your eyes, grab your fresh cup of coffee, come on into the church, my friends. The house is open. Uh, we're going to get into some scriptures this morning. And, uh, of course, uh, we're going to read the Bible together, my brothers and sisters. Hey, man, good to see you guys. Good to be here with you again around two second service here this morning. I had to do it. Uh, hey, man. Get that fresh brewed cup of coffee, a little bit of dinner afterwards, and uh, I'll be back on it again. So, amen. Good to, good to do it. Uh, you know, grateful to, grateful to be in these, to have this opportunity for sure. It really is. Uh, amen. It's a blessing. Uh, amen. Try to find seven. There it is. All right. Uh, okay. Well, I think we're gonna go ahead and grab our. Uh, grab our, what are we going to grab? We're going to get our notes. That's what we're going to get, uh, friends. Amen. All right. You know, I'm always kind of trying to settle this thing here. Uh, amen. All right. So <laughs> there it is. Uh, it's a work in progress. Trying to find the sweet spot for the mic. I, I was going to do it hanging up from the top down, but that's just right in the way, and I can't see anything that way. Uh, and I do like these boom arms. Uh, they are uh, really, really good. Uh, amen. All right. Uh, how about a little uh, Serenity Church? Why don't we go ahead and share that one? You go ahead and pull that up. And uh, let's go ahead and, and check out some Serenity, my friends. Amen. All right. Now, God grant me the serenity uh, to accept the things I cannot change. Uh, and the courage to change the things I can. And the wisdom to know the difference, brothers and sisters. Amen. Now, living, of course, uh, sweet Jesus 
uh, living one day at a time. Amen. One day at a time there. No accepting hardships as the pathway to peace and taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, trusting that he will make all things, here's the word, right if I surrender to his will, friends, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next. And you know, we always talk about that here. Uh, Revelation, we're going to go into, uh, I believe, 7, 8, uh, what is it? 7 through 9. We're going to take a look at Revelation 7 through 9, friends. All right. Because you know I got a little something, something for you, brothers and sisters. Amen. I got to preach it. Come on now. <laughs> that seed was planted a long time ago, and I got to keep going. You know, you know how it is, friends. You got to keep preaching that word. Don't give up. Don't quit. Keep going. Keep moving forward. Plant in, right? Or plant your feet <laughs> in the ground and keep moving. Dig in, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Uh, so I'm just going through uh, some scripture notes. If you're just joining us on the live radio, amen. Good to see you guys. Uh, Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Crowley here live. Blasting the devil again with a second round of Bible scriptures because that's what we got to do, my friends. Dig in and keep pressing in. Let's get to the Lord's Prayer family. Now, our Father, which art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. The kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And uh, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. I know, it's not easy, but we got to do it. Uh, If we don't forgive them, our Father won't forgive us, my friends. Uh, So yeah, we got to keep digging in and pressing in. Now lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Church, we know this one. Thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And amen. All right, good stuff there. You know that. Uh, Amen. Let's go ahead and throw some armor on, then I'll do the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, friends. Get your Bibles. Make sure you got them out. We're having church this morning. Good to see you guys. Uh, Let's go ahead and read together, my friends, if you could pull up. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20. Always part of my scripture notes. I uh, always have that with me. Uh, so let's go ahead and read that together. Uh, amen. Now, uh, Ephesians, again, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20 here. Uh, amen. The whole armor of God. Now, finally, my brethren and sisters, of course, you know, we want to include our sister and folks there. Amen. <laughs> He says, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, brothers and sisters, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Now watch this as we segue into 1 Peter 5, 5, right? For your adversary, the devil, walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Stay steadfast, my friends. Dig in, press in, and don't get uh, rattled by the enemy. Amen. All right, uh, take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the Word of God, our Bible. Amen. Now, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication uh, for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly 
to make known the mystery of the gospel for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Amen. 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 All right. Boy, I almost dropped my notes again. Mercy. Come on now. That's that's not allowed. <laughs> Amen. Hang on here, friends. Amen. Note to self. Put your microphone up when you drink your coffee so you don't spill it, right? <laughs> Amen. All right, friends. I think we're going to go real quick over to uh, Psalm 23. One of my favorites. You know, I want to bring that up to you. So go to your Bibles, if you will. Make sure you have them out for church this morning. Uh, friends, Psalm 23, and then we're you know kind of bounce back around uh, to some other scriptures here. Uh, amen. Oh, I got some exciting stuff for you, brothers and sisters, this morning. Uh, amen. We might do Psalm 91, too. I always love that one, and I think you guys, you know, we always need to hear that as well. Because we're going to claim it, we're going to receive it, uh, my friends. Amen. So let's go ahead, and we're going to jump uh, to uh, Psalm 23, and then Psalm 91. And then we'll get into our sinner's prayer of salvation. Amen. <sighs> All right, let's go. Now, the Lord, as he says in Psalm 23, is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures, and he leads me uh, besides still waters. He restores my soul. And he leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Powerful, friends. That's powerful. That's movement, right? And a movement in the Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And you prepared a table before me in the presence of my enemy, and you anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever oh mercy friends that is a just a powerful moving scripture uh in uh you know just just powerful powerful uh, amen that's why i sometimes i call it the power hour bible study podcast because i got so much word to share with you all right let's uh let's roll on over to psalm 91 friends i'll give you a, a minute or two to get it when you get it, you got to give me a big amen, hallelujah, right where you're at. Don't be afraid. Don't, you know, just just reach out in boldness or whatever the word is. Uh, shout it out. <laughs> there it is, man. It's late. Come on now. Uh, shout it out in boldness, friends. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right, now I'm hearing uh, some feedback here. I don't know where that's coming from. I got a lot of playback here going on. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on here in the studio. Early this morning, bright and early anyway. Uh, amen. Let me straighten out that headset, mic set, recorder. <laughs> right. Uh, mercy. Ah, uh, come on now, Mister Devil. You think you're gonna get me? I don't think so. Uh, you got to be kidding me, right? Uh, back of the line. Uh, amen. All right, there's them flies again. Mercy is. You think with this heat, this cold going back and forth, you think they figured out to stop bothering me, right? Hang on. Uh, <laughs> amen. All right, so that's clipped. I don't know why they got feedback going on. Nope, that's all right. Uh, amen. All right, monitors here. Uh, what is it? Channel three. So I wanted to make sure I don't know where that's coming from, but I got feedback coming from somewhere. <sighs> Amen. All right. I don't know where that's coming from. Uh, I have a fee I have like feedback coming through and I don't know where it's coming from. I don't know. Uh, oh, maybe. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I found the source. Mercy. I found the source to where it's at. 
Uh, amen. Give me a minute, my friends. Got to make some quick adjustments. There it is. Uh, amen. Got to make sure I can see the clocks there. Uh, all right. So yeah, hang on. Uh, I found the. Uh, there it is. I found the. I found the spot where it's coming from. My extra phone over here. Uh, camera three. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just giving it numbers because that's I got three cameras up here. All right, brothers and sisters, let's uh, let's go ahead and go into Psalm 91 because I heard you loud and clear. I heard you say, "We got it, Amen, Hallelujah." Let's get to it, Psalm 91. Then we're going to go into the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation and, of course, a few uh, a few other scriptures for your church service this morning, my friends. Amen. Good to see you, Pastor Grell here live or was live. Ministry podcast on the air, YouTube, Blog Talk Radio, Spreaker, Anchor, Castbox, and a whole lot more, my friends. Amen. Chasing the flies away. Uh, and a little bit of rain tonight. It's actually picked up and it's starting to rain a little bit here, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it. Let's get going here, friends. Psalm 91. Amen. Now he who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. Amen. And I will say to the Lord, my <laughs> my refuge and my fortress, my God in him whom I trust. For he will deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler and you will not fear the terror of the night. Uh, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor the destruction that wastes at noonday. Uh, now a thousand, uh, a thousand may fall at your side, ten thousand at your right hand, but it will not come near you, and you will only look with your eyes and see the recompense of the world. Amen. We are in Psalm 91, my friends. Amen. All right, let's go ahead and pull that one up here, part two. Now, because you have made the Lord your dwelling place, the Most High, who is my refuge, no evil shall befall you or allowed to befall you, and no plague. Friends, come on now. Don't be stretched out and stressed out and worried and and all uh, caught up in the world in the madness. He says, no evil shall uh, shall be allowed to befall you, and no plague, hello, no plague uh, will come near your tent. we got to believe it and receive it, friends. Come on now. Ah, mercy. Now, for he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. On their hands, they will bear you up, lest, uh, lest you strike your foot against a stone. And you will tread on the lion and the adder, or upon the lion and the adder. Uh, the young lion and the serpent you will trample underfoot. Because you hold fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. Uh, he who calls to me. Huh? What? He who calls to me, brothers and sisters. Right there, I will answer him. Make that move, my friends. Come on now, uh, and don't be afraid. Don't step out in boldness, amen. Uh, I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him, or I will satisfy him and show him my salvation, or Yahushua, amen, as it says in the scriptures, Amen. All right, good for you guys. Uh, Amen. Give you a little bit of Bible study this morning. Always good to be on the air. Like I said, it's a full time calling, full time position. I just got to keep keep moving forward and and plowing through it, right? Because uh, you know God set it up for me. It's not easy, friends. Like I always tell you, it's not always easy. You know, as a, as we did in the NLT, it's being a Christian's not easy. Being Faithful, steadfast is not easy, uh, but uh, it is something that we need to do, uh, you know, and uh, just stay steadfast at it no matter what, uh, because God has a bigger plan. He has a higher plan for us 
But we got to stay steadfast in this race, friends. As always, as I, you know, as I read, uh, what was it, uh, Romans, uh, Romans 8 there, more than conquerors, friends. Amen? Uh, amen. Can't let the devil steal, uh, kill, steal, destroy, right? Amen. Um, all right, so we are going to go into Revelation 7. Uh, it's like 7, 8, 9 here uh, in just a bit. Amen. As I always like to include scriptures out of Revelation, just kind of giving you, uh, you know, scriptures back and forth here. Amen. All right. Well, I hope the camera's okay. I kind of adjusted it a little bit, but uh, I was watching uh, a couple of podcasters. Again, as I always tell you, kind of tell you the story here. Um, I was watching, you know, like some rock stations or, you know, kind of just checking out uh, the visual part of how they're set up because they're doing live radio uh, on top of a live like YouTube uh, and uh, Twitch and, you know, stuff like that. The live video and the live audio at the same time. I've been doing that for years. This is this has been my normal uh, routine for setting up my podcast here. I do audio and video uh, at the same time, like a simulcast, basically. And I, and I was thinking about changing it to uh, the simulcast uh, podcast or something like that. But I saw that, and the idea, and BBC, and I believe there's a bunch of other stuff uh, out there, other channels and stuff that do uh, not only live radio, but they do a live video feed uh, as well. Like they're on Ustream TV, uh, Art Restream, Melon, all that stuff, the live video stuff uh, at Church Seven. I thought that was a really good idea. Because I know you guys are busy, have a different lifestyle uh, and, and a different life going on than, you know, than others. Everybody's life's different. Everybody's uh, daily routine day to day is different. And uh, so it's not always easy to sit and watch the video uh, unless, you know, you, you know, you're after night time or something. If you're just sitting like, you know, with the channels and stuff, uh, if you guys are just kind of sitting, hanging out. Uh, watching, you know, have time to watch videos. But it's always good because all the podcasts are uh, picked up on, for audio, anyway, they're picked up on all the national channels. So it's nice because uh, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm on every single uh, podcast catcher uh, or podcast channels in the world. I Somebody was listening to me in, in Berlin, Germany, one of my friends that I have, I uh, was listening to my audio uh, on iHeartRadio, Spreaker. Uh, what is it? Uh, like I said, iTunes, iHeartRadio. Uh, so it's it's just amazing, you know, the power of the Internet, you know. So, uh, <laughs> you know, come on now. But it's, uh, you know, we don't always have the opportunity to watch the videos. As I, a lot of my friends are saying that, uh, that the audio is really nice. They can just kind of tune out, uh, you know, plug in, tune out. Uh, and listen to the Bible study, uh, you know, podcasts and stuff, and and have the audio uh, available to do that. So I'm on like Stitcher, uh, what is it, uh, Verbal now, a new channel, Verbal. Uh, I've got added to uh, where is it at? Um, boy, so many channels. Uh, just amazing, just uh, like amazing channel, amount of channels that I'm on, uh, Stitcher, Amazon, Google Podcasts, iTunes, Spotify, which I actually, uh, forgot to, uh, write down here, and I'm probably going to tear off my whole page, but, uh, I forgot to put that, uh, on as well, uh, so, uh, and, uh, Podcast One as well. Uh, amen. So anyway, and I just <laughs> I just ripped up my page there. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of gently put the list down together here. I got a new like a, a list of all the channels. Uh, <laughs> so my poor wall, my poor wall is terrible, uh, terrible condition here. All right, friends. Anyway, I was just kind of rambling a little bit. You know, I still got my rabble time. Uh, good to see you guys hanging out in the church tonight. Doors are always open for you. Uh, come on in, my brothers and sisters. Uh, we are in church, and uh, let's kind of rabble in here for a minute. Uh, amen. All right, got to pull that up and make sure I can see where I'm at here. Uh, amen. I'll make sure.
sure I can see my clock. That's always important. I got to make sure I can see the clocks here. Uh, amen. So you guys kind of know the drill. What I do on Anchor Cast Box is you only give us an hour. Uh, I have to watch that clock there and make sure that I get the time in. So anyway, uh, friends, come on in. Good to see you guys. Hang out for a bit. Have some coffee. Uh, we are, I want to go into the Sinner's Prayer of Salvation. Um, amen. You guys get a hold of me worldwide live ministry podcast uh, at uh, yahoo.com. We're going to make that move. We're going to step out in boldness, my friends. No fear, right? Uh, we're going to look at the uh, part D here, uh, Sinner's Prayer of Salvation, my precious brothers and sisters. Let's go ahead and make that move and take that step, my friends. Uh, amen. Now he says, uh, as it says here, uh, dear God, I know that I am a sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Now, please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. And I know your son, Jesus Christ, died for me uh, on that cross. Right. We know that. Uh, and I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. Now, at this very moment, friends, here we go. I accept, confess, and uh, proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior to live in my heart from this day forward, from this moment, friends, as we take our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, into our, uh, as our personal Lord and Savior, uh, amen, right there, it just says it, uh, and, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior uh, to live in my heart from this day forward. Thank you, Jesus, for your grace that you, or that has saved me from my sins. Uh, as the scripture says, oh, wretched man that I am. Oh, mercy, come on now. Uh, and it's given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. Church, come on now in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Uh, now, I'll be posting this out, uh, and if you guys want this uh, included in your NLT uh, Bible there, which I'm getting to. Uh, I had a few little uh, setbacks there for a minute, uh, trying to kind of recover over it. So bear with me and be patient, my friends, because I'll get one out. Uh, or I get them sent out as soon as I get a chance, uh, hopefully soon here. Uh, but it has um, has been a little bit of a challenge here. We're trying to work on it. So, uh, amen. All right. So, uh, my friends, boy, if I got something good for you guys, ooh we I got a little something, something for you, my brothers and sisters. Amen. <laughs> amen. Uh, looking at my notes here. Lots for you, my friends. Boy, you know, and I'm just personal kind of thing. I'm, I'm really digging this new chair. Uh, I did. Uh, I was blessed at the beginning of the month. Finally got a new chair in. Uh, kind of a thing, you know, I'm, and I'm looking for another one uh, just to have a backup just because I never know. And, and you know, these things do wear out in time. Uh, but I, I managed to, to find one. And, boy, it has been a blessing. Uh, so, oh man, I am just, it's just so, I, I'm in awe, you know, Jesus, God always provides everything. we got to be patient, friends. Uh, <laughs> man, so I am, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm good. This is a, a great chair that I got blessed with. Amen. All right. So I'm going to kind of, uh, go over to, uh, and be patient here, friends. A lot to cover in this one. Uh, I'm going to go over to the uh, NLT, well, not the NLT, the Orthodox Study Bible. I met a, a, a pastor a while back uh, in my travels and in my studies, uh, you know, my quest for knowledge, as they say, or my thirst for knowledge, as I hungered and thirst for the word every day, every minute, and every hour, uh, I managed to um, meet up with the uh, Orthodox Study Bible or an Orthodox uh, pastor who's teaching the Bible. This is really great stuff, friends. This is really great. So, and I've been reading that throughout the podcast uh, over the last eight years or so, seven years. Uh, and so I, I 
I want to share with this, uh, friends, the prophets. This is just part of it. It's in the book of Jeremiah. So if you guys look at Jeremiah, as like I said, I kind of just bounce on over there. Uh, amen. And there's my clip, my other mic. Uh, amen. Uh, so I want to look at this in Jeremiah, and I believe it's right up in like one and two here. Uh, so I want to go ahead and look at this. Now, again, real quick here. I'm running out of time on the Anchor Cast Box. I got to uh, stop. I may, like I said, I just may let that roll out. I don't know. I might type in something. I might put in something. But uh, I want to go ahead and, and do that here. So as I'm, this mic, uh, friends, give me a minute here. Uh, amen. All right. So that's kind of out of the way. Uh, that's my mic clip there. Amen. All right. Uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to watch the clock here at Anchor Cast Box. I may just let it roll out. I may type some information into it. So I want to get this to you, uh, friends, if I could read this here. Um, the prophets, Jeremiah, right? Uh, one or two, what I believe chapter three here as well. Uh, amen. Is that up? Yep, it is up. All right, now the holy prophets of Israel played a unique and critical role in their society. They repeat or repeatedly called the people back to their commitment to obey and worship uh, the uh, only the one true God. And they warned of foreign invasions. All right, they protested against social and econ- uh, economic uh, injustice, and they even rebuked kings um face to face for their sinfulness now i'm going to throw a whole lot of scriptures at you so hope you got your notes uh, and your uh your studies there and your uh your uh, notebook pad uh, or tablet here friends because i'm going to throw a whole bunch out now the subtopic again is in jeremiah i believe it's like one through five one through four uh here friends out of the orthodox study bible and it is the prophets i want to take a look at that here and again, uh, I may roll out with uh, with uh, Anchor Cast Box here. We'll see how that goes. Running down, running out of time here. All right, let's keep going, friends. Again, talking about the prophet. So the first scripture uh, is going to be Second Kings chapter twelve, one through fifteen. Amen. Now Third Kings eighteen seventeen eighteen chapter twenty one through twenty nine. Uh, amen. And what do we got? Second, uh, what is that? Uh, Second Corinthians chapter 12, 1, 8 and 16, 7 through 10. And then, uh, so in times of crisis, they were consulted kings to discern the Lord's will. Now that's four Kings three, five and through 20, uh, eight, seven, 15, uh, 22, eight, through 20 and Jeremiah 21 1 14 and there it is I gotta go friends hang on here all right boy that was like I said that uh, that's pretty quick stuff here uh, amen so I may go ahead and just type in a little bit I don't want to do too much there uh, amen and amen all right and have to do it this way you know the the typing is okay, but I would kind of rather uh, keep it as quick as I can here. Um, amen. All right. So, uh, let's see. Saturday late night, as it says. Late night. Uh, Bible study podcast there, as I'm trying to spell here. All right, and I'll go ahead and get back to that later. Amen. All right, again with the <laughs> spelling. Oh man, I tell you, friends, it's not the it's not an easy thing to do, but they 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 make it uh, tough for you here. Um, all right, but you know, like I said, I know uh, I, I appreciate having that extra audio channel there. And I'm still on Tin Can. Now I just added a few more, like four of my channels here. Uh, so that's pretty, you know, pretty amazing, pretty interesting. So, amen. All right. So uh, that is the Saturday late night uh, service here, friends. Um, amen. All 
right. second service tonight here, friends. That's pretty amazing, pretty awesome. Uh, amen. Mm-mm. Gotta remember, <laughs> remember how to spell there. Uh, you'll be all right. Um, let's see. All right, I uh, got that first part out there. Uh, amen. So give me a minute here. I don't want to go that way. All right, just about done here, friends. Just uh, give me just a couple more minutes here. Uh, amen, and I'll be right back with you. Uh, amen. All right, uh, what do we got, about eight or nine? I think season eight or nine. I, don't, I can't remember which uh, season we're in. Uh, okay, there it is. All right, friends, we just finished up a first hour here uh, live at uh, Anchor Cast Box. We're continuing into our hour, into our second part here. Uh, you're live on the air broadcasting from Studio A live. Uh, Worldwide Live Mr. Podcast, Pastor Crow here live. Having a late night study, second service here. Uh, now going into Sunday morning, of course, uh, live on the air. We've got, uh, of course, all the channels, YouTube, Block Talk Radio, Spreaker. Um, amen. Just finished up with uh, Anchor Cast Box, as I was saying. Uh, amen. So that is good to go. Uh, so we're looking at the Orthodox Study Bible here, friends, with uh, or in uh, the book here um, of, uh, let's see, I'll pull up that. Uh, we're looking at the prophets, and that's going to be over in Jeremiah, uh, I believe, 1 through 5, friends. So check that out. All right. Uh, there's the um, live uh, feed over at YouTube again. Got our brothers and sisters over there, so check it out. Amen. So let's get back to it here, friends. Now, as he was talking about here, uh, which is really good. And like I said, I'm going to give you a few more chapters here, of course, a few more scriptures. Uh, we're talking about uh, the prophets in Jeremiah. Now, uh, so just throw out uh, at you uh, some scriptures here. Let's go. I uh, believe the uh, next one is going to be Jeremiah 21, 1 through 14. Yet their most significant uh, task, as it's uh, written here, uh, was prophesying uh, about the coming of the Messiah, the King of Kings, and, the, of course, the Lord of Lords. Now, through prayer, asceticism, repentance, and the practice of virtue, uh, as he says here, uh, the prophets were particularly receptive to the Holy Spirit. Now, he who spoke by the prophets as uh, the Nisan Creed, as I talked about before and shared with you, the Nisan Creed declares as Basil, the great rite, or Saint Basil, as he's referred to. Um, let's see, where did I go? Oh, there it is. The uh, it is souls pure and cleansed from all uh, defilement. The prophetic gift shines clear. Most unique was the preparation received by John the Baptist or Saint John the Baptist, uh, the greatest of the prophets, Matthew 11, 7 through 14 there. Uh, Good to see you, brothers and sisters. Amen. Good morning, my my family here. Uh, YouTube. Now, who is filled with the Holy Spirit, even uh, even in his mother's wombs, uh, and that's going to be over in Luke one fifteen. Now, the backgrounds of the prophets uh, were varied, friends. We are talking about the prophets in Jeremiah. Uh, amen this morning. Now, Amos. Now, here it is, friends. Amos was a shepherd. Uh, Amos 1, 1, 7 and 14 uh, and 15. Ezekiel was a priest. Uh, first, or Ezekiel 1, chapter 113, Daniel, a young nobleman, uh, or nobleman, reared in captivity at the, uh, as he says, at the royal court in Babylon. That's Daniel 1, 3, and 6 here. 
Now, Deborah, or Deborah, a judge and military leader, Judges 4, 1, and chapter 5, 31. Uh, and uh, Hulda was the wife of the keeper of the king's wardrobe. Amen. 4 Kings twenty two fourteen. Also varied were their responses to the Lord's call. For example, friends, Moses and Jeremiah protested. Uh, Exodus 3, 7, 4, 17. Jeremiah 1, 4 through 6. And Jonah, friends. Now, we all know about Jonah, right? Um, Jonah immediately tried to flee from the Lord. I'm sure like many of us have done that. You know, we, we hear the Lord's calling, but we, we don't want to do it. It's too hard. I know. I'm speaking to the choir here. I did it for years. And the Lord kept calling me, calling on me, calling me, calling me to, to bring me back. And, and he did. And I surrendered. That's what we got to do, friends. We got to surrender to the spirit, right, or to the will. Uh, amen. All right. <laughs> there will my bookmark. We're not going to worry about that. So we are talking about Jonah uh, as the different prophets here. Uh, amen. So let's check that out. Continue here. Uh, all right. So, yeah, we were talking about Jonah here in the prophets. Now, let me go back to my spot here. Uh, there. So he immediately tried to run. Um, man, where did he go? He, he tried to flee from the Lord. Uh, Jonah 1, 1, 3. Now, Isaiah, on the other hand, though accurately aware of his own sinfulness, said, Here I am. Send me. Uh, that's, uh, what is it? Uh, where are we at here? That's uh, 1 or 6, 8. Now, Moses, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, let's see, I believe that's 7, 2, 2. And Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel 2, 1, and also 3, 14. All received repeated reassurances uh, from the Lord that he would be with them to strengthen them in fulfilling their prophetic calling, right? We've all heard that. We've all heard that calling. We've all heard that that prophetic voice telling us this is what we need to do and, and, and this is what we got to go to. Uh, so as I reflect on that stuff, that's exactly what happened. I, I heard it, and I, I, instead of running from it, I surrendered and still doing it eight years later. So uh, amen, right? Uh, amen. <laughs> Checking my cords. All right. So let me keep going here. Now, the prophets, I uh, know, let's backtrack. So all received repeated reassurances from the Lord that he would be with them to strengthen them in fulfilling their prophetic calling. So the prophets vividly demonstrated their willingness to obey the Lord when asked to do unusual things uh, in, uh, let's see, in dramatized prophecies. Again, lots of examples throughout the Bible, my friends. Uh, amen. Now, let's see. Uh, let's see where I'm at here now. Uh, ba -ba -ba now, Ezekiel drew a picture of Jerusalem on a clay tablet and pretended to besiege it, Ezekiel 4.1.3. I also, uh, also asked to take a sword and cut off his hair. Amen. There's some sneezes again, man. Uh, and beard and burn part of it, uh, 5.1.13, and also 12.1.15. Now, Jeremiah buried a linen sash by the Euphrates River, Amen. Uh, Jeremiah 13, 1 through 11. Isaiah walked naked and barefoot for three years. Mercy, really? <laughs> now, uh, Isaiah 21 through 6. Now, uh, Hosea was commanded to marry a harlot. Hosea 1, 1, 3. Now, sometimes the prophets, friends, uh, experience fierce opposition from the authorities, kings, priests, 
and even prophets, uh, as we have seen. Boy, I'm telling you, that sneeze, I, it's coming. I'm feeling it. I got to keep going here. Uh, let's see. So, uh, as of the prophets now, who represented a uh, condemnatory messages or condemnatory messages being delivered. Now, uh, let's see, I believe it was Micaiah was uh, slapped in, in prison, or Micaiah was slapped and in prison for being the only one of about 400 prophets who dared to tell King. Uh, Ahab of Israel, the true word of the Lord in three or third Kings twenty two two three eight. Amen. All right. So Jeremiah was threatened with death by his fellow citizens of Antioch, Jeremiah eleven, nineteen twenty three, and later by the priests and the false prophets, thirty three one nineteen. And he was in prison under King Zedekiah, chapter 44, 1 through 21 on that one, friends. Now, uh, also 20 and 1, 2. Now, the priests of Bethel tried to expel Amos out of Israel. Uh, that's going to be over in uh, Amos, chapter 7, 10 through 13 there. Uh, all right, 10 through 13. Now, according to tradition, Isaiah... Jeremiah, Ezekiel, and Amos all were executed, as was St. John the Baptist. Matthew 14, 1, 12. Luke eleven forty seven through 51. A lot of scriptures here. Uh, Matthew 23, 29 through 37. Second Chronicles. Uh, what is it, 24, 17 through 22, Jeremiah 33, 20, 23, and Hebrews uh, 11, 32 on that one, and 20, uh, or I believe 38. So uh, 32 and 28. Let me fix that because it looks like a different number to me. Uh, amen. So 28, uh, friends, 11, 32, 28 on that one. All right, bear with me on this one, my friends. Let's see, twenty-five. I'm trying to look at the monitors here, make sure where I'm at. It's awesome. You guys are really awesome tonight, uh, friends. Amen. Um, so thirty, so thirty-two and thirty-eight is on this one here. Now, at uh, times, prophets even wanted to die, such as Elisha, uh, three third kings. Uh, 1914 and Jonah, Jonah 413. But the prophets always reaffirmed uh, their reliance upon God's will and their hope in his mercy. Now that's Lamentations chapter, I believe, 3, 21 through 41. Now in, in this, as well as their sufferings for our Lord's sake, the holy prophets serve as important examples for us, friends, and we can look on this as an example to the flock. Amen. Uh, now, as, as it says, it was received at our baptism and chrismation, uh, the gift of the same Holy Spirit who came upon them. So there you go uh, as the examples to the flock, right? Um, amen. Good stuff there. I love that one. Oops, almost lost my pen. Come on now. You're not going nowhere. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> All right. Let's grab some coffee here. Take a quick break. Amen. I guess I didn't move it far enough out of the way. Man. All right. Got to scoot up here. Got to get settled here. Uh, amen. All right. I love this. Mike uh, clip here. It's just really good. This is the boom arm, right? Amen. All right, you guys. Uh, well, I think you guys are, well, we've got about a half an hour. What do you say we stick around for a little bit, at least another half an hour here, uh, and uh, get some more scriptures? Amen. Why not, you know? All right. We're going to go into Revelation chapter 7 through 9 here, my friends. 
Uh, like I said, got a few for you here. I always like getting into the word here uh, and sharing out. Now, I don't know if I'll get to everything, but uh, that's okay. We'll we'll do as much as we can here. Uh, so have your Bibles out. Make sure you are in it. And uh, we're going to look at uh, Revelation, uh, I believe, uh, well, 7. But I, I think I just saw something here, friends. I do want to maybe backtrack just a little bit to... Um, to Revelation 6. I don't know why, but I I saw something in there I wanted to share with you again. Now, it's talking about the seal, so we're going to kind of skip through that. You guys can read uh, on your own if you get a chance here, uh, Revelation 6. And uh, I think I'm going to go from uh, from the the fifth seal here, friends, in Revelation uh, 6. Uh, So let's look at uh, 9. I believe nine, right? Uh, let's see, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so yeah, from about Revelation uh, six, verse nine, and when he had opened the sixth or the fifth seal, uh, it uh, let's see, I, I saw unto the altar of sons or souls of them that were slain for the word of God. And for the testimony which they had, right? All right. Now, and they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood from them that dwell on the earth? Now, and white robes were given unto every one of them, and it was said unto them that they should rest uh, for a little season until their fellow servants also had, and their brethren uh, that should be killed as they were, should be fulfilled, right? The prophecy there. In verse 12, And I beheld one, or when he had opened the sixth seal, and lo, there was a great earthquake, and the sun became black as sap cloth, or sap cloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. Uh, and the stars of heaven fell into the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her un, let's see, untimely figs, right? Untimely figs. Now when she was, uh, or is, shaken of a mighty wind. And the heaven departed as a scroll when it is rolled together. Uh, and uh, every mountain and island were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the great men, and the rich men, and the chief captains, and the mighty men, and every bondman, and every free man, uh, hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. And said to the mountains and rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. Uh, All right, now for the great day, of his wrath is come, and who shall be able to stand, he asks. All right, let's go to chapter 7 here, friends. I think we've got just enough time to uh, throw some of this extra stuff out for you. So let's uh, continue on our morning Bible study church service here, friends. Let me cover up my copy. Uh, amen. Now, chapter 7 in the book of uh, Revelation here, we're going to run through a few of them here. So go ahead and read along with me wherever you happen to be at. Uh, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, uh, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east having the seal of the living God. And he cried with a loud voice uh, to the angels uh, to whom it was given to uh, hurt the sea or the earth and the sea and saying, hurt not the earth, neither the sea nor the trees till we have sealed the servants of our God in the, in their foreheads. Uh, now I heard the number of them which were sealed and there were sealed and hundred As he says, an hundred and forty and four thousand. So uh, there it is. Uh, Let's see. Um, 
444,000, right? Uh, of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Now, I'm going to skip all that because that just talks about all the the tribes there, and you guys can read that on your own. Uh, so let's uh, kind of jump past here a few of them. Uh, let's see what we got. Uh, amen. Well, we can go to verse 9 here. Now, after this, I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could mit- a number of all nations and kindreds and people of tongues stood beside or before the throne and before the lamb clothed with white robes and pains or palms in their hands. There it is. And cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our God, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne and about the elders. Uh, Amen. And uh, the four beasts and fell before the throne on their faces and worshiped God, saying, Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God uh, forever and ever. Amen. Uh, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which are arrayed in uh, white robes? And whence came they? Now, and I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which come out of the great tribulation and have washed their robes and made them white uh, in the blood of the Lamb, friends, as we were uh, bought at a price. Now, therefore, are they before the throne of God and serve him day and night in his temple, and he that sitteth on the throne shall dwell among them, and they shall hunger no more, and neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light on them, nor any heat. For the Lamb, which is in the middle or the midst of throne, of the throne shall uh, feed them and shall lead them in or unto uh, living foundations or fountains of water and God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. That's good stuff right there, friends. All right, let's run on over to eight. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, read that. We've got some time here, uh, friends, for church service this morning. Uh, now our Sunday morning. But, uh, you know, we started out the second uh, service here on uh, YouTube and more. So keep going here. We're in Revelation 8 now. Uh, Now, when he had opened the seventh seal and there was silence in heaven uh, about the space of and half an hour, uh, and I saw the angels uh, which stood before God. Let me readjust it. I don't know what it is. It seems like it's either getting too close or far far enough away. I don't know. I We'll have to keep going with it. Uh, all right. <laughs> I never know. Uh, and I saw the seven angels which stood before God and, and to them which uh, were given seven trumpets. And another angel came and stood at the altar uh, having a golden censer. And there was given unto him uh, much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all the saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came up the prayers or with the prayers of the saints uh, ascended up before God out of the angel's hands. And the angel took uh, the censer and filled it with uh, the fire of the altar uh, and cast it into the earth. And there were voices and thunderings and lightnings and earthquakes, right? And the seven angels, which uh, had the seven trumpets, prepared themselves to sound. Now the first angel sounded, and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood. And they were cast uh, upon the earth. And the third part of the trees were burnt up, and all the green grass was burnt up. And the second angel, uh, as I'm getting my notes here, 
Uh, second angel sounded, and it was a great mountain burning uh, with fire was cast into the sea. And the third part of the tree became blood. And the third part of the creatures which were in the sea and had life died, and the third part of the ships were uh, destroyed. Now, give me just a quick minute here uh, as I'm going over some quick notes here. Amen. All right. Okay. Now, in the third angel uh, sounded, as it says, uh, hang on here. I'm writing notes here. Uh, third angel sounded, and there uh, fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the uh, rivers and uh, upon the fountains of the water. And in the name of the star is called Wormwood, which they just talked about somewhere uh, in the news. It was a revelation or something that they just saw it. So, uh, friends, we are in the end times. we got to get prepared. Amen. Uh, amen. All right. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the third, let's see, as he says, the third part of the waters became wormwood. And many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. And the fourth angel, as I'm running out of space here, um, and the third part of the sun was smitten, and the third part of the moon, and the third part of the stars. So, as the third part of them were darkened, or was darkened, and the day shone not for a third part of it, and the night likewise. And I beheld and heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven, saying with a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth by reason of the other voices of the trumpet of the three angels which are yet to sound, friends. Uh, we got to watch that. All right. Uh, let's see. So that is the fifth angel here in chapter 9. And the fifth angel sounded, and I saw a star fall from heaven unto the earth and to him that given the key of the bottomless pit, right? And he opened the bottomless pit, and there arose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. And there came out of the smoke locusts upon the earth. Now, I was talking about the, uh, the plagues there, right? Uh, amen. The plagues upon the earth of the locusts and said them was given power and the scorpions or as the scorpions uh, right there again with the notes man oh man uh, amen all right trying to keep track of all that make sure it's uh, good there uh, amen the earth uh, the scorpions of the earth uh, have power and it was commanded them that they should not hurt the grass of the earth neither any green thing neither any tree but only those men which have not the seal of god in their foreheads all right and to them it was given that they should not kill them but that they should be tormented five months Friends, if you write in your notes uh, in Revelation chapter 9, five months in their torment was as the torment of a scorpion when he striketh a man. Now in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die and, uh, and death shall flee from them. And as the shapes of the locusts were like unto horses prepared unto battle, and their heads were, as it were, crowns like gold, uh, and their faces were as the faces of men, 
and their hair as the hair of women, and their teeth were as the uh, teeth of lions. They're pretty descriptive here in the in the uh, the book of Revelation nine, friends. Uh, and their teeth were uh, as uh, the teeth of lions, and they had breastplates as if it were breastplates of iron. Uh, amen. All right, let me fix that part too. Hang on here. Um, amen. As I'm trying to correct, I, I get it worse here. Uh, man, oh man. All right, so uh, again, I broke that down. I did a study a while back, and I'm going to break that down again and, and give that to you as another uh, full body, uh, full full podcast uh, as I was looking at the body of the lion, uh, as it said, the uh, breast plate of, Ryan, of, of iron here. Uh, I'm going to look at that again, friends. We're still going to go back into that. I haven't done it in a while, but we're going to finish out the 400 years of silence uh, in between the intertestamental uh, period there. So this is part of it. The Revelation book of Revelation chapter 9 is uh, part of the 400 years of silence. And it's pretty descriptive. So if you haven't read it, uh, we're going to continue that here soon. Uh, amen. So in the sound of their uh, wings was as the sound of chariots of many horses running to battle. Uh, and they had tails like a scorpions and their stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt men five months. And they had a, a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless uh, pit. And the name of, uh, in the, as it says here, in whose name in the Hebrew tongue is Abaddon or Abaddon, but in the Greek tongue uh, hath his name uh, Apollon, or right, uh, Apollon. Now, one woe is past, and behold, there came two woes more thereafter or hereafter. And the sixth angel, uh, as it says, and the sixth angel sounded, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar, which is before God, uh, saying to the six angels which had the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates, uh, and the four angels were loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. Uh, so if you look at that, uh, let's see, for an hour and a day and a month, 30. So, it, yeah, you have to add that up in your uh, when you calculate that uh, time frame there. Uh, so that's uh, very interesting uh, timing there. Uh, all right, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and write that uh, part down here. Uh, amen. All right, the number of the army of the horsemen were 200. Again, with the numbers here, 200,000, uh, so 200,000, uh, and I heard the number of them, and thus I saw the horses in the vision and then it sat on them, having breastplates of fire and of jacinth and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were as the heads of lions. And out of their mouths issued fire and smoke and brimstone. By these three was the third part of men killed by the fire and uh, by the smoke, and by the brimstone which issued out their mouths, or out of their mouths, and the power in their mouth and in their tails, for the tails were like unto serpents and had heads, and with them they do hurt. Uh, now, in the rest of men, which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented uh, not of the works of their hands, uh, that they should not worship devils or idols of gold and uh, silver and brass and stone, as it says, uh, and brass and stone and of wood, which neither can see nor hear uh, nor uh, walk, and neither repented 
they of their murders, nor of their sorceries, nor of their fornication, uh, nor of their thefts. Pretty deep, friends. Uh, and we'll continue. I'll actually, uh, I will continue throughout all the podcast. Uh, go into Revelation, kind of just break it up for you, uh, give you a little uh, study. Uh, if you haven't read it, uh, like I said, uh, if you haven't read it, I will. Uh, I'll be going in and out of uh, Revelation throughout the podcast. So, good stuff there. Uh, amen. All right. Uh, let's see. Got to try to fix my headphones there. Watch the uh, watching the replays. I'm like, ah, well, I can't help it. I got to make sure it's you know. I don't know. I may I may revert back to the uh, the new iPod or Apple headphones I got. Uh, just the in ear thing. Uh, it works like this, but obviously it's not as bulky. I don't have to worry about it. Uh, but I got two sets uh, of uh, of really nice, uh, you know, very what a great gift that was. Uh, I found one online and uh, got the other one from a neighbor. Uh, and so I may revert back, not have this thing on all the time because it's just really tough to uh, try, try to go in, you know, try to have. Uh, so I'll have one for the microphone. And uh, one as a uh, you know as the uh, the here uh, for the um, oh what do you call it the uh, the the mixer uh, so I can hear uh, what's going on through the mixer so that's why I have all this set of headphones and everything pretty good stuff I love it uh, it's great all right well got a few more for you uh, I do want to go this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this one here, I'm going to go into the tour. I haven't been there for a minute, so let's go ahead. As uh, man, oh man, I just, I just got bit by a mosquito. Are you serious, man? They itch. That's crazy. Uh, it happens. Well, like I said, we've had because uh, of the weather uh, change here. We've had uh, we've had all kinds of insects coming in on us. Uh, amen. So. You know, uh, pain in the neck, but uh, I got to roll with it because that's what happens here. And uh, when the weather changes, right in your area too, uh, the weather changes, you get the mosquitoes or something coming in at you. Uh, <laughs> man, so I'm like, no, I got a mosquito bite. Are you kidding me? Uh, it's okay. It'll pass. I just got to know. It just keeps, it'll pass. I don't worry about it. All right, my friends. Listen, we're going to go into Psalms, friends, in the Torah. Uh, and I'm going to go into uh, something I've been reading before, I've uh, shared with you. Uh, Revelation 116, or not Revelation, what am I thinking about? Uh, <laughs> I just got out of Revelation. We're going to go into Psalm, friends, 116, uh, I believe on the list here, 117 and 118. Uh, so let's do that again, kind of bouncing over uh, to the, uh, hang on. Uh, bouncing on over to the Torah, and we're going to get into uh, 117. I think we got just a few minutes, uh, so we can close out here. Let's uh, let's check it out, my friends. Now, oh praise Yahuwah, all ye nations, praise Him, all ye people, for His merciful or merciful kindness is great towards us, and the truth of Yahuwah endures forever. Hallelujah, Church. Amen. All right, let's run on over to 18, 118 anyway here and check this out. Uh, in the book of Psalms, again, friends. Now, oh, give thanks unto Yahuwah, for he is good, because his mercy endures forever. And let Israel now say that his mercy endures forever. And let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endures forever. Let them now that fear Yahuwah, uh, that his mercy endures forever, or say that his mercy endures forever. Amen. I call upon Yah in distress. Uh, Yah answered me and sent uh, him in a large place. Yahuwah is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. It is better to trust in Yahuwah uh, than to put confidence in man. 
it is better to trust Yahuwah or Yahuwah uh, to uh, uh, let's see, let's go back into that to put uh, uh, let's see confidence in princes, right? Hey, Amen. Boy, that, that sneeze been nagging me all night. Uh, <laughs> All right, all nations compassed about me, but in the name of Yahuwah will I destroy them. They compassed me about, yea, they compassed me about. But in the name of Yahuwah I will destroy them. They compassed me about like bees. They have quenched as the fires of thorn or fire of thorns. For in the name of Yahuwah will I destroy them. Uh, you have uh, thrust sore of me that I might fall, but Yahuwah, help me. Ah, or Yah is my strength and song, and become and is become my Yahusha or salvation. Of course, now the voices of rejoicing uh, and Yahusha again salvation here uh, is in the tabernacle of the righteous. The right hand of Yahuwah does valiantly. And the right hand of Yahuwah is exalted. Uh, right. Uh, now the right hand of Yahuwah does valiantly. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of Yah. And Yah has chastened me sore, chastened me sore, but has not given me over unto death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise Yah. Uh, this gate uh, or this gate of Yahuwah uh, into which the righteous shall enter, friends. Uh, amen. Now I will praise you for you have heard me and are become my Yahusha. Uh, the stone which the builders refused uh, is become the headstone of the corner. This is uh, Yahuwah's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. And this is the day which Yahuwah has made. Amen. Uh, we will rejoice and be glad in it. Save now, I beseech you. O Yahuwah. O Yahuwah, I beseech you. And now, or send now prosperity Blessed uh, be he that comes in the name of Yahuwah. Uh, we have blessed you out of the house of Yahuwah. El is Yahuwah, which has showed us light. Uh, bind the sacrifice on the feast, or blind of the feast day with cords. Uh, I believe that's bind. Okay, so yeah, it is bind. I had to read that again. Uh, amen. Of the feast day of the cords and of the horns of the altar. You are my L, friends, he says, and I will praise you. And you are my Elohim. I will exalt you. I'll give thanks unto Yahuwah, or Yahuwah, for he is good. For his mercy endureth or endures forever, friends. Oh, you got to love it. You got to dig into that word, my friends. Amen. All right, let's see if I can do this without knocking everything over here. Uh, <laughs> amen. Uh, it is a blessing. Like I said, I don't complain. I got a lot of good scriptures for you. Uh, amen. So I think we got uh, about a couple minutes left. Uh, amen. I had to do that one. I had to share that with you. That is a great scripture. Set of scriptures, anyway. Uh, now, we got... Boy, oh boy, where do we go here? Um, well, that's kind of a long one. Let's, uh, let's see here, friends. Let's see if we can't close out with one more scripture for you. Uh, amen. Now, we might, like I said, I might have to just change that out. Uh, let's go to seven. Let's go ahead and go to Philippians seventeen. I like to keep it in the scriptures, friends. And again, we're going to close out. I think that's the last uh, scripture here. We'll close out with this one. Um, amen. Uh, I thought I saw. I got a mosquito or something on here too, but I guess not. 
All right, uh, let's go ahead and just close out with this, friends. Let's go ahead and close out with Philippians chapter 4, church. Let's go ahead and do that, Uh, 1 through 23. Now, again, kind of back over to the King James. Now, therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and long for brethren, my joy and crown, stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Yodius, I beseech Sintese, that they be of the same Mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help these women which labored with me in the gospel church. With Clement also and with other my fellow laborers whose names are in the book of life. Now rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. And the Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing and in everything, uh, as he says, uh, be careful for nothing and in everything by prayer and supplication. Uh, With thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Now, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, and whatsoever things are honest, and whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Now, those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. But I rejoiced in the Lord greatly that now at the last your care of me hath flourished again, wherewith ye shall all, uh, were also careful, but ye lacked opportunity. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am there will uh, with to be content, church. Now I know both how to be abased. And I know how to abound everywhere and in all things. I am instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. I, church, we can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Amen. Right? Notwithstanding, well done, but you did communicate with my affliction. Now, it talks about tithings there. Uh, so let's go down to, I believe, about 16, 17 here. For even in Thessalonica, he sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account, friends. Amen? All right. Boy, that's uh, not good there. Um, uh, let's see. All right. I got that fan rolling through there, so that's what's going on here. Uh, amen. Let's go ahead and pull that that way. That way it won't get in the way. All right. My little desk is the uh, fan blowing. Uh, it's still pretty hot. Like I said, it's like 70, something like 80, 80 degrees or something like that. It's pretty warm. Uh, now, but I have all and abound. I am full and have received of Ephrodias the things which are sent an odor of a sweet smell, and acceptable, well-pleasing to God. But my God, again, I love this part. You guys got to turn to your neighbors, wherever you're at, or whoever you're with watching this broadcast. Turn to your neighbor and say, But my God shall supply all our needs, as he said, uh, according to his riches by Christ Jesus, amen, friends. you got to love that part, right? Uh, amen, verse 19 in uh, Philippians chapter 4. Uh, now, uh, and to God our Father be glory forever and ever, amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus, the brethren which are with me, greet you uh, with the, let's see, um, they greet you, and all the saints salute you. There it is. Chiefly, they are of Caesar's household. Uh, the grace of uh, our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Uh, church, that's it. Amen and amen. Whew. Good to see you guys. Boy, I appreciate you so much. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and 
close out our uh, channels here. Uh, Spreaker and YouTube hold that thought. Just a quick minute here. Uh, Blog Talk Radio. We'll see you guys on the next broadcast. Amen. Always good to see you guys. And get on here on live. Uh, friends, we'll see you tomorrow, today, this afternoon, after 3. I don't know when, but sometime between 3 and 3.30 Pacific Standard Time. You guys are a blessing. Thank you guys so much. Worldwide Live Ministry Podcast. Pastor Crell here live. Oh, it's uh, a little after one thirty-five here. Uh, amen. Good to see you guys. I'll be back, and I'll see you on the next broadcast. Uh, go ahead and share and repost these podcast friends uh, to family, friends, you guys. Uh, like and subscribe if you can. I appreciate that support there. And don't forget the PayPal link. See you on the next one. YouTube Spreaker, hold that thought. Amen. Blog Talk Radio, I'll see you on the next broadcast here. Friends. See you soon. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys, hold on just a minute here. Let me close everybody out. Uh, just a couple quick notes here I got to do. Amen, amen, amen. Give it to the Lord, my friends. Gotta give it to the Lord. Amen, friends. All right, that's it. I'll uh, see you guys on the next broadcast. Uh, always a joy to be here. Always great to see you guys on the channel here. Uh, again, I'll see you for Sunday service, Sunday praise and worship, Bible study podcast. Uh, friends, the power hour, if you will. Uh, bring your Bibles. Make sure you got all your, your stuff there uh, together. And I'll see you later on today. I'll post it out on all the channels, of course. Uh, get some sleep, my my friends. Get to church if you can this morning. Uh, get in there and uh, hang out for a while. And, and and just hear what the Spirit is saying unto your uh, your spirit. Amen, your soul. Amen, friends. All right, Pastor Rick here live. World Wildlife Ministry Podcast, Pastor. Uh, again, just said it. Pastor Rick Riley here live. Good to see you guys. Always appreciate that. Um, right here at YouTube and, of course, all the other channels as well. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, and I'll see you guys soon. Amen. Have a good night. Uh, good rest of your night here. Anyway, and I'll, I'll see you soon. Amen. Have a good one, friends. Amen, 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 amen. All right, Spreaker, hold that thought. We're going to close out our YouTube channel. See you soon. You guys take care. Amen. Love you guys. Amen. See you soon. All right, Spreaker, hold that thought. Let me close our channels. Uh, let me close our channels out here. Uh, let me uh, get that rolling here. You guys, give me a minute. So let me get into the settings here. Uh, amen. All right, Spreaker. Amen. I appreciate you guys. Got that church rolling. And go in there, amen. See you soon, friends, amen. See you in uh, a little bit here later on today. <laughs>